hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i have some happy mail we're gonna do a little happy mail unboxing i'm gonna leave a comment down below and i'm not gonna put this into use until i read through those comments so i have it now today is may 21st um this video probably won't go up until like june mid-june i am slowly but surely catching up i have a video posted every day up until the 31st as of today um and then in june i will be able to post my april video so hopefully i will be caught up by mid-june um but so i was going back and forth between getting this wallet in pink as an a7 um but i did purchase the a6 version um i just want to see what it looks like i may or may not still get the a7 because i have a problem and it's okay the first step is to admit <laughs> oh also i did want to show you I got this cute keychain from like a store by my sister's house and it's Sailor Moon. She was always my favorite, always my favorite. And I want a Hello Kitty one for this binder. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it on my desk or if I'm gonna use it as a wallet. I just, I wanna see, I wanna fill it out. I don't know what envelopes I'm gonna be using. That is the question that I need yours guys' input on. Oh my God, I have so much dust. I hate that my desk is right underneath my steps because my steps have like a, like a cutout. So any dust that falls off from feet, from the steps will fall onto my desk. So, here it is this is from simple budget plans and this wallet is from her as well so it says less is always more how cute and then it says thank you so much for your purchase ashley and some information there um her socials like her handles for instagram and youtube and care instructions super cute okay this card says breathe because i know we all need a minute to slow down and ain't that the truth cute oh and there's a cute little freebie savings challenge that's cute i might put this in play at some point but it does save 280 that's cute okay that should be a better angle the wrapping paper super cute oh my goodness oh Ah! Alright, so it does come with my invoice, which I'll just put to the side. And we're gonna close this up. And this is what the binder looks like, how it comes packaged. So let's open this bad boy up. I love the packaging, super secure and safe. So it comes with a wristlet. This is ginormous. This is ginormous. I don't know if I'm going to put this in my purse. I would have to have like a tote or like a messenger bag, like a larger bag. Because the bag I have now is, is like a little small cross body bag. Anybody else like popping these? When I was little, I would love popping these. Okay, and okay. I get distracted way too easily. So, because the wristlet is gold, it's safe to assume that the hardware on the inside is also gold. This is cute. All right. Oh, oh my God. And it has the same design, as you can see, like that quilted, like arrow kind of design. Oh, look it. More bubbles. These, these are a little bit more hard to pop. Um... I do like this one because it has a lot more card slots and it also has that nice like large change compartment like look at how far that opens beautiful the rings on this are fairly large hmm. let's see if i can take this out without it giving me a hard time okay i figured the trick the trick out to those you have to bring this all the way back so it can come out ease it has a nice little pocket here some more space there like it's such a nice binder but can i use this as a wallet so 
I don't know what I want to do with this yet. I really do not. And this is very scary because <laughs> now I have a binder and I don't know what to do with it. Um, would I use this as a wallet? This thing is ginormous. I could use this as a clutch. I can put my receipts back here. Or should I use this for like... So I've been thinking, right? I'm sure once I have envelopes in there, that'll be easier. Um, I've been thinking about taking out like my higher amount savings challenges and separating them into like a long-term binder. Like for example, save 2024, even though I'm not doing it this way, the way I'm doing it, I'll save like anywhere between like five and 700 bucks. Cause I don't know what the scratch offs are going to be. Um, like that's a high number. It's going to take me a while to complete that. Um, my color and save is over 300. Mickey is over 300. Um, you know, I have higher denomination challenges, um, but do I want to put them in a separate binder is my question. And then also, if I do turn this into a wallet, should I ugh, should I use these wallets? I mean these wallets. Should I use these envelopes? Because pink on pink, um, yes. How cute. Oh my god, this is gonna be a wallet. This is going to be a wallet. And then this way I don't have to fold my money, even though I don't mind folding my money in here. Or should I make these envelopes the a six interrupted by a phone call again? I'm not even it doesn't even like I'm used to it at this point. So here is this binder. So I did have some of my sinking funds in here, but I did take them out of here and I just put them all into my Libra binder. Yes, I have quite a few options. These are like, you know, yeah, that. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain them. So I took them out of here and then I do plan on starting some new challenges, but these are higher amount challenges. So I think instead of putting them in this binder because she is beautiful and then let's take these out. I might make this my long term savings challenge binder and that'll be like another little series that I start. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is that what I want to do? Will these fit in here or will they fit over here um, you know what i'm just gonna put these to the side because i gotta figure out what i'm doing with those um should i switch over Hmm. Should I put all my higher end challenges into this binder? Because honestly, this is very big. I don't think that I would carry like the one I got from the aesthetic dollar is thinner and not as like poofy. So this might be my long term savings challenge binder. So might as well just switch everything over now. All right, so. Let's get into it to the side and I definitely want this to go here okay so I will put more envelopes in but for now we're gonna put these Okay, so this one would go in here as well, and this one as well. Um, and they can stay. Do I have any other bigger ones? I don't think that I do.
All right, so I think that will hold those. I think for now, this is how this is gonna stay. Um, I am gonna have to fix my disc bound binder, maybe create a tab for long-term savings challenges so that I can have all of that stuff set up. And then I will be replacing these. Um, I will take these numbers off and put them on new envelopes in my other and the white binder. But I think that is how, okay, I don't like this. <laughs> this needs to be on the other side. <laughs> So yeah, I think that that is how this is going to go. This is so cute. This is so cute. So we will put her right there to join the little family of binders. Okay, I cannot have any more binders. That is enough of that. All right, so that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up, comment down below. Please leave your comments down below for the questions that I asked. Um, and on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up, comment down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Princess Up Budget Fam. And I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, having an amazing day and night with your own. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.